Hey guys, Moneyman300 back for some more videos and we are continuing on with our Forza 6 overview series and this time I want to talk about the loyalty rewards program and how it can benefit you in Forza 6 and get you a great head start on credits to buy cars right out of the gate in Forza 6. So for those of you guys that are familiar with Forza 5 and previous versions there was a a reward and I don't know if this existed before Forza 5 actually I don't remember but anyway in Forza 5 there and in Forza Horizon 2 there's a reward system that allows you to get credits as rewards credits and, and sometimes they've done cars and things in the past as rewards for your progress in the game so they have these tiers and you go up tier 1 through tier 8 and each time you go up a tier you get like a few hundred thousand in credits and it's significant right it's a lot of money that you get or, or in-game credits that you get uh, for your progress. So what I want to talk about is there's a little bit different system to get you prepared for Forza 6 and there's some things that you might want to be out there doing right now to get the most credits you can get before the game comes out. So let's dive right into it and take a look here. Um, you can find this information on the ForzaMotorsport.net website. It is, there is a, it's, it's in the news se section if you go to community and news and then scroll through the news articles. Um, there's one in here about the rewards, and that's what we're looking at right here. So, first off, there are tier rewards, and based on your tier and how many tiers you have completed um, in, um, and I believe this is your highest tier in any game. So if you are a tier 8 player, for instance, because um, it doesn't really say here if it's uh, tiers and Forza Rewards. So whatever tier of Forza Rewards you are, and I think that's a combination of, of your game. So you can go, and if you want to check this stuff, uh, you can see up above, this is a ForzaMotorsport.net website, uh, like I said. Go to Rewards, and then My Rewards, and you can see what tier you are, and then you can find information about how you advance to the next tier and the things that you have to do. But anyway, these are the rewards that you get. So it's cumulative, meaning if you're tier 2, then tier 3, each tier you reach, you will get the car that's listed here. Uh, when you start playing Forza 6. So, if you are Tier 2, you'll get the BM, the, the BM, the 2015 BMW M235i. Uh, you, then you will also, if you're Tier 3, you'll also get the Nissan GTR Black Edition uh, 2012. Uh, next up, the 2015. Now, what this means is these cars will be in your garage. These are not... Um, uh, that you will not have to buy them. These are cars that are in the game, right? These aren't like you will have them and nobody else will. Um, these are cars, um, but but they they uh, you're going to then have these cars and not have to purchase them. So uh, we got the Jaguar F-Type R Coupe, the Austin Martin V12 Vantage S, the Lamborghini Aventador LP700 4, all the way up to tier six and tier seven. You get up to the Ferrari number 62 RSI uh, Competizione. Uh, 458 that's a, this is a mouthful 458 italia gtlm might be the longest car name in the game um until you get to the next one audi team jost r18 e-tron quattro uh, for the tier eight so get some extra cars in your garage by the tiers that you are so again check your rewards see what tier you are that's nice right but i think what's even better is the the kind of next set of rewards that you get or actually let me, let me go through there's some more car rewards first just for playing forza motorsport 4 5, forza motorsport 5 and forza horizon 2 you will also get the following cars the ford focus rs the 2013 ford shelby gt500 and the 2013 ford f150 svt raptor shelby so you could essentially start off here with what we got here one two three four five so you got eight obviously tier two through eight you get seven there actually and then you also get another potential another three cars there so you could start with like 10 cars right out of the bat in your garage without having to spend a credit uh, based on your tier rewards and you get three of them just for putting the game in the system and starting it up so that's pretty cool you get to start with some stuff so let's get down to what i think the real stuff is um now we got more cars uh, you also get a vip so if you were a forza 5 vip you're going to get the 2013 la ferrari if you were forza horizon 2 vip 2011, uh, 2011 uh, Kona, Konaseg Agera. So lots of cars there. Now we're up to 12 cars you could have in your garage. Now let's get to the real meat. I keep saying that, but now I really mean it this time. This is where I think that you could really build up some credits. And you could see the numbers here. So um, this goes back to 
uh, Forza, Forza Motorsport 3, 4, Forza Horizon, Xbox One, Forza Motorsport 5, and Forza Horizon 2. For each game that you have 50 to, 109, 50 to 199 cars, you will get 100,000 in credit. For each game that you have over 200 cards but less than 300, a million. And for each game that you have 300 or more cars in your garage, you'll get 5 million credits. So across the five games, you could potentially start with up to 25 million credits, which, man, you'll be able to buy a lot of stuff right out of the gate when you start playing. You know, limit that credit grind a little bit and have some credits out there to be able to do stuff. So, um so if you have those games and you haven't quite yet filled up your garages, go take a look, see how many cars you have and go buy some cheap ones, right? Just buy, I think you can buy like the same car over and over. So find yourself a cheap one, the cheapest car you can get and just start buying it. Uh, I'm assuming you probably got a lot of credits. First, go check your, your current rewards. You may have some rewards you can cash in on the other games to then go use that to buy the cars to get you to the next level. Maybe you don't get all the way to 300, but maybe you can get to 200 and get that extra million. So get out there, buy your cars, check your rewards, and that's going to help you to get a jump start in Forza 6. That's really all I wanted to cover in this video. I do have a couple more. They're going to become pretty, pretty, pretty quickly. It will not be two weeks in between videos this time. Uh, I actually had a had intentions of, of getting a video or two up last week, but I had a cold and maybe you can still notice it a little bit in my voice. And I just, I don't like to record videos when I'm like sniffling and my voice doesn't sound quite right. And then I, I hate to listen to it back. Um, still, I'm still not 100%. It's been like the longest cold ever. It's been going on for like a, a week and a half, but I feel a lot better now and um, definitely uh, able to get back to making some videos. So uh, we got this video here, rewards. The next one coming up is going to be about cars and tracks. And then we're going to have a video or two talking about the, the different single player and multiplayer modes and some of the other new announcements the last few days. So anyways, I'm going to wrap it up with that. Thank you for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.